All right, good evening, everyone. We will read our story for tonight, Bruce's Big Move, which hopefully you guys have heard the Mother Bruce book. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorites. And we'll read this one in just a minute. We'll give some people time to get on and then we'll get started. So I hope everybody had a good day today and enjoyed the beautiful weather. It was great. What? Your left wrist. Oh, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we went to Lone Elk Park today and drove through and we got to see uh, Buffaloes a, and some bison. Yo. And then we saw a elk, uh, maybe a daddy elk because it had big antlers and then a baby elk. And we didn't know, so maybe some of you guys know, but we didn't know if female elk get antlers because I know some animals with antlers the females do get antlers but I'm not sure about elk we need to look that up don't we yeah because that, that was my first time seeing one yeah because I don't and I don't really know and bison yeah okay so this is Bruce's big move by Ryan T Higgins oh Bruce he's such a grumpy bear it says for sale moving Bruce's big move. Hmm. So I guess he's going to move somewhere. Let's see what happens. Bruce was a bear who lived with four geese because he was their mother. And three mice because they would not leave. For such innocent little animals, mice can take up a lot of room. Do you think we could fit a 1950s panel truck in the living room? Poor Bruce. And make a big mess. You guys would never make a mess like that, would you? Bruce's house was crowded, chaotic, and loud. And he didn't like it one bit. Cannonball! What a mess. Bruce wished there was a way to get rid of the pesky rodents, but there wasn't. He did try. And try, it says, mail to Tasmania, mail to Yukon, mail to Mojave Desert. And try. No matter how hard Bruce tried, the mice would not leave. Out! Bruce is right. We should go out and get some fresh air. Let's play frying pan ball. Thanks, Bruce. You're always looking out for us. So Bruce decided to move. Finding a new house for a mother bear and his four geese can be difficult. We're a little behind schedule. But Bruce found the perfect new house eventually. It was in a quiet neighborhood with a lake, meadows nearby to explore, and plenty of friendly neighbors for the geese to play with. Hi, I'm Hilda, and these are my 13 sisters. We're going to be best friends. Bruce did not like friendly neighbors. That is a lot of sisters. Imagine if you had it in real life. Yeah. The best thing about the new house was that there were no mice. So, Bruce was happy. But the geese were not. Bruce tried cheering them up. Nothing worked. Why do you think they're sad? You think they're missing the mice? Until the moving van arrived. Oh boy, look who's back. Hi Bruce, where do you want us to put this? We love the new house, which room is ours? Now, the geese were happy. And the mice were happy. Bruce was not. This calls for a celebration. 
Let's have a housewarming party. Bruce's house was once again crowded, chaotic, and loud. I want all these animals out of my house. Great idea. Let's play frying pan ball. And Bruce didn't like it one bit. But it felt like home. Good night, Bruce. You're a good mom. I'm going to start charging you rent. We love you too. Aww. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book tonight. Sorry for a little bit of chaos there at the beginning. That's what happens when you have three kids and a dog and a hamster rolling around in a ball somewhere maybe. We'll see you guys tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Have a great night.